Hello, I'm Lelda Smits for Australia's Finance News Network and joining me from Tungsten Mining is Managing Director Paul Burnt. Paul, welcome to FNN here in Hong Kong at Mines & Money. Thank you, Lelda. Tungsten Mining is a mineral exploration company with a portfolio of projects around Australia. What is the company's development strategy? The strategy is to rapidly determine the conditions under which a tungsten mine at our Kilba project will be feasible and viable and to rapidly develop that mine before the end of next year, 2014. Our broader strategy is that we will pay dividends to our shareholders from profitable mining operations and we use part of the funds, excess funds from those operations for further project development of our other projects coming through the pipeline. Tungsten Mining debuted on the Australian Securities Exchange at the end of last year. What have you focused on in the first few months of trade? Well, on the day of listing in December last year, we were ready to immediately start on site with our drilling. And the first thing we did was we duplicated eight holes that were completed by the people that discovered the project back in the 1980s. When we got those results, we realised that there was very good correlation between what they said and what we expected. And so after Christmas, we immediately re-established on site with two drill rigs with the objective of drilling out that deposit to a jort compliant standard so that we could therefore progress the project very rapidly. Uh, they came up with a resource of 1.4 million tonnes at around about 0.7% grade. And if that's the case, that would be an exceptionally high grade by tungsten standards for an open cut mine. Typically an open cut mine would be around about a quarter of a percent grade. So therefore it led us to believe that if we have in the order of one to two million tonnes of ore, which is shallow enough for an open cut mine, at a grade of around about half a percent, then we would certainly have a viable mining operation. As you mentioned, your priority is developing the Kilba well deposit in Western Australia. What is the area perspective for, and what are your hopes for the deposit? Kilba is perspective only for tungsten, and our hope is that there's a high grade deposit of sufficient size, of sufficiently shallow ore, that can rapidly bring a mine into production based on it. And we have very good provenance of the deposit because it was discovered by Union Carbide back in the 1970s, and they were the number one in tungsten in the world during that era. And they came up with a resource of 1.4 million tonnes at about 0.7% grade. And if that would be the case, were to be the case, that would be an exceptionally good grade of tungsten deposit. How long do you expect the feasibility study will take to determine the viability of a mine at Kilba? And what's the next priority? Oh, not very long at all. By the end of May, we will know whether the mine at Kilba is viable or not. The first priority for us is to complete the drilling that is underway and that is slated for completion at the end of April and then our geological consultants will deliver a jork compliant resource based on that by the end of May. Also we will know what the process is for the ore body and what the ultimate recovery of tungsten will be from it because that work is undergoing it un underway at present and it will also be completed by May. We also hope to achieve a memorandum of understanding with one of the major tungsten off-takers that we've been talking to and they will commit to support the project by guaranteeing an off-take of the product and also a fairly large component of the project funding that's needed to develop the project. The Kilber project is only part of your assets in the Gascoyne region and indeed you have other assets, uh, Mosquito Creek in the Northern Territory and Coolia Nobbing in Western Australia. How did they form part of your exploration strategy? Well, our strategy is to focus on developing the Kilba project into an operating mine, and that's our first priority. Once we've got to the stage where Kilba is well into development, that is, it's under construction, then we'll be able to devote our time and, and resources and efforts into looking at some of those other projects in our rather extensive project pipeline. And as you work towards these goals, what is your funding model going forward? Well, currently at the end of March, we'll have $1.8 million cash reserves. And we will need to do more drilling because of the small pit scenario that we're now looking at, we need to raise about $2 million presently, and that's what we're doing. And once that raise is done, the next phase of the company is to, to develop the mine. And as I mentioned, the off-takers will be contributing a large share of that, and we'll be going back to our shareholders with a placement to participate in that capital raising and we've been briefing them on that and they are quite amenable to that suggestion. Finally, Paul, what would you like to have seen Tungsten Mining have achieved when you celebrate the first anniversary of trading on the ASX later this year? Well, in December of this year, we'll be battening down the hatches at our Kilbra project 
which will be well into construction phase and we'll be going home for a well-deserved Christmas break. And in order to get to there, we will complete our uh, preliminary engineering feasibility studies by May of this year, which will give us the mine commitment decision. We will have uh, achieved a memorandum of understanding leading into an offtake agreement with one of the major tungsten consumers. And we will therefore have raised the cash that we need to develop the project, which is in the order of about $25 million. Paul Burnt, thank you for the introduction to tungsten mining. And thank you, Lord, it was a pleasure.